Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at what jobs you can do after a successful career in the Royal Marines. Do the impossible, this is what I'm made for. So what happens is people get really excited joining the Royal Marines um, and they don't think about the time they're going to leave, whether that's doing just four years and then leaving or doing a full sort of 22 year career. Um, I think it's quite important to have in the back of your mind what you would potentially do after. The Royal Marines will set you up massively for most careers you want to go into after it. But I think it's important to have some sort of idea of what you want to go into. The amazing thing with the Royal Marines is you can get specific trades. So you could be a vehicle mechanic, a mountain leader, a PTI, which obviously transfers to being a personal trainer, driver, an engineer. There's lots of opportunities that you can get specific careers that you can take with you when you leave the Royal Marines. But if you don't get one of these careers or you want to do something different when you leave the Royal Marines, there's countless skills that you'll earn whilst in the Royal Marines. For instance, no one's going to have this, a similar discipline to you, punctuality, respect, integrity, work ethic, organisation and resilience. These are massively employable skills and any employer out there will be looking for people with these uh, in abundance, which if you've been in the Royal Marines, you will have. Not only that, but you'll have life experience. Um, if you put yourself, say you're 24 and you, you know, you've done four or five years in the Royal Marines against someone who's done uni and then they've maybe done uh, you know, two years as an apprentice somewhere, you're gonna be in a far better position than that person in terms of life experience. Not only have you proven that you can get through the hardest military training in the world, you've also proven that you have the ability to work in stressful conditions, which is a massive, a massive thing in this day and age. Resilience is massively lacking in many, uh, many industries now. Not only that, but if you, again, if we consider the uni student who's gone on and, and yourself, you've done four or five years in the Royal Marines, you actually become an incredibly interesting person. Doing three years at university and then maybe again doing a uh, an apprentice or something isn't massively interesting. I don't mean that in a you know in a uh, patronising term, but it, it isn't because many people do it. Whereas having done four or five years in the Royal Marines, travelled all over the world, maybe gone on operations and deployments, that's incredibly interesting to the average person. And being an interesting person goes a really long way uh, when getting a job and uh, also sticking at a job. So putting all these things together, the experience, the skills gained, um, the, the interest of you as a person and the things you've done, you actually become a very employable person. I know for myself as a businessman, if I was going to, if I was going to look to employ someone, I'd want to be looking for, for those traits that uh, Royal Marines have massively because I know I can rely on this person, I know they're going to turn up on time, I know they're going to work hard for me. I know they can, they can nail down when uh, times get hard and I know they've got resilience and they're just going to grit through it. So for me, as a, uh, having my own business, that's a massive tick list right there. But also, um, as I've done, you don't need to go and potentially work for someone. If you've got a business idea and you, and, you, know, you think like, it's a good idea and you can go for it, then the Royal Marines will massively set you up for uh, life as a businessman. Uh, many times it can be hard when you don't know you know, especially when you first start a, a business and you've got to really, really grind and work hard and, you know, you're doing sleepless nights and endless research. Um, as a Royal Marine, that massively helps because you've done that, you've been there, you've done it, uh, you know, in, in very harsh conditions. Now you're sat indoors doing it. Uh, it's slightly easier. So knowing that you, you can do it in Dartmoor or in Afghan or whatever, and then doing it as, uh, with your own business is um, it's a massive plus. One of the obvious industries to go into is a Royal Marine security. Um, there's plenty of jobs out there. Uh, you can go into close protection, maritime security. Um, you know, there's many jobs, many roles in a lot of these uh, industries. And uh, you, as a Royal Marine, you're gonna put yourself in great stead to uh, be at the top of those lists. You will obviously, when you come out, have to do extra qualifications, close protection courses and first aid courses, things like that. But, uh, but you know, being a Royal Marine, and especially if you've got operational experience, is a, ma a massive tick in the box as well. One thing to be quite aware of is, because uh, the military is a very secure job, you know, you're gonna get a solid pension, um, you know, you've got f free med care and dental care, it can be very daunting to leave, um, whether you've done four years, or again, you've done your full 22. 
it's, it's quite it can be quite a daunting experience so just to be aware of that now in my opinion I would say um, doing a full career in the Royal Marines is absolutely brilliant but again just being aware say if you join at uh, let's let's be hypothetical you've joined 18 years old you do 21 22 years you're still going to come out at you know 40 years old so you've still got a full career ahead of you so just being aware of that that you can do an incredible career with the Royal Marines and still have another full career after it and that's a massive bonus and a massive plus uh, one one thing that I struggled with when I came out and became a personal trainer was I thought that uh, you know people had that mentality of they want to thrash themselves they you know they want they want to be thrashed till their eyes bleed and and they want to work super hard every session because that was the environment I was used to as as a Royal Marine and uh, it took me a little bit of what a little bit of time to adjust to City Street and realise that actually a lot of people aren't wired that way. And uh, if you join the military or the Royal Marines, you're sort of, uh, you know, part of that elite group that, that wants that. So just be aware that when you come out, you might have to tone everything down. Don't change who you are. Don't change your experiences and what you've done and, and you know, how you operate. But just be aware that you might have to take a slightly softer approach uh, because, you know, 60-year-old Maureen doesn't want to be crawling around uh, Dartmoor like you did. Uh, so hopefully that's a, a, a you know a useful video and if you're slightly worried maybe joining the Royal Marines that you know what what could you do after um, that that's taking your mind at ease uh, also for parents I know that they think of these things as well but take it from me ha having done a career in the Royal Marines and now moved on to you know I've done a few jobs since leaving and now I have my own business uh, it sets you up unbelievably and I'm so much further down the road than I would be if I'd never joined. So uh, guys, if you are thinking about it and this is one of the things that's stopping you, then uh, you know hopefully this has just put your mind to ease. If you've got any questions on this front, chuck it in the comments box and uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, really helps us grow as a channel. Cheers guys.